let's try this again. Um, I wrote this a while ago um, because it was on my heart and I wanted to share it. Um, it goes like this. Oftentimes, I've sat back and watched humans in their natural habitat. The moments I saw passing them made me wonder if they even realized that they have just missed a precious second that they can never get back. I know I'm not perfect in this either. And since losing my mom almost a year ago, I have tried to change that to the best of my ability. I spend a lot more time focusing myself on the people around me who mean the most to me. That is why I push myself and some others as much as I do, because I know how it feels not to have that second fact that you wasted because you're either angry or just didn't care. Losing my mom has taught me a lot about myself as well as my family. The biggest thing is that we need one another to make it through. We can't do things on our own all the time. We need to understand that we are not seen as a burden so long as we put the efforts to help ourselves in as well. In fact, many people are ready and willing to help, but oftentimes than not, we fail to bo even bother to ask. Sometimes I look back on the days and years that I had with my mom and kick myself for not taking the time that really had to connect with her more than I did. Truth is, I miss her, and my heart is broken because of it. However, knowing that she isn't completely gone forever has helped me to be able to move on with my own life and try to do better. We can't change the things that we were too blind to see before, but we can prevent it from help rehappening again. I think my purpose on this earth is really to motivate people to be a better version of themselves. By doing so, it in turn makes me realize that I have a lot of growing to do before I can say that I'm the best version of myself that I can be. Actually, that's a lie. I know we can never truly reach the best we can be because we always have something that we can grow and learn from. I really love impacting lives around me even when I don't realize that I have. It gives me the warm, fuzzy feeling people get when they're drunk without having to deal with the consequences in the morning. My heart breaks into tiny little pieces any time I see someone being disrespected, especially when they are disrespecting themselves. I think this stems from the fact that I know where they are because I've been there myself. For many years, I've used self-doubt an absolutely poisonous hatred towards myself that was it was impossible for me to let anyone in because I was afraid that I had missed something. That maybe, just maybe, if I put myself down, I would beat them to the punchline. When in fact, that was the worst thing I could possibly do. All it did was lead me to a deeper depression and pain and sorrow. The worst thing one can do is not love themselves. I love being, I have been able to change my perspective and self-esteem for by first leaving the surrounding that I was accustomed to and starting fresh. Then that was followed by surrounding myself with only people that would help me instead of hindering the growth that I need to accomplish. Along the way, I had to cut some people out of my life, and although it hurt both me and them, it was something that I really needed to do, at least for now. Sometimes the people we thought we were the closest to us, that they would never leave us and we would never leave them, is really what our past is connected to. In order for us to change, we have to be willing to make those changes so that we can become a stronger person and really start to love ourselves. With that, I have heard and seen a lot of people talk about getting into a relationship one after another. Although I have no room to talk because I've yet to be in one, I don't think serial relationships are the way to go either. If you're constantly bouncing from one bad relationship to another, then I think it's time that you take a break and examine what's really going on in your heart. If you have been severely hurt in the past, then maybe it's your self-esteem that you need to work on. I'm not saying that you are a horrible person if you struggle with this, because that's not what I mean at all. It's just it hurts and bothers me to see other people constantly hurt once again, but not willing to make the change that could help them out. Um, so if you're struggling, we all struggle. We all have issues to work on. We all have problems in our life. And that's never going to change. 
however, we can fix them and we can move on, move forward with everything else. Um, I hope this video helps somebody. And yeah, let me know what you think. Bye.